what's up oh oh how's my night my night is going good uh are you ready for school tomorrow that's 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 the real question right that's the real question are you ready for school tomorrow okay so i need to get rid of that i just watched the freaking phoenix suns lose and i cannot believe that they freaking lost that was crazy by the way can you hear me how does how does the sound how does the sound sound Oh, so you can have the live chat on the screen or not. So I actually don't actually have to have it on the screen. Yeah, it sounds good. Okay, cool. All right, now I'm going to try and get some music up in here a little bit. Let's see if I can do that. Um. Oh, so I don't have to actually have that on the screen at all. So I could just... Yeah. So I can actually delete this, right? But then I can still see your. Let me let me try this. Okay, so that just means it's just not on the stream, but I'm still in here. Okay, and I feel like it's heck of close. Oh yeah, yeah. I don't know what I'm doing. I downloaded a uh, TikTok Live Studio, right? And so I um. I just was like, okay, let me check this out, see how this actually uh, works. And I think I'm gonna take this off as well. I think I'm gonna go ahead and take that off as well. There was one other thing, which I don't even know what this was. This is something, I'm assuming you guys can see all these things. Um, I have no idea what the heck that was. I'm just trying out their whole thing for the first time. And I was thinking I was gonna record a stream off this. I don't know now. <laughs> But what I was um, hoping to do was actually record the second episode of my brand new podcast called Tea Time with Mr. Farr. Don't ask me why I'm doing a podcast. I just am. And so um, I figured what we could do is like two topics and then a also maybe some a story. So how many people are in here? I, I'm trying to figure out how to read all this too because there's there's so much going on on this screen that I'm like, bro, I don't even know what I'm doing. But that's part of what I said. I just actually posted the last, um, well, the the first episode of this podcast, and I started decided I decided to start a podcast because I already was going to do content in this kind of area or in this realm, and. Um, it just seemed like that was the thing to do in order to put it in a playlist. And then YouTube was saying so people can listen to it on YouTube music as well. So we'll just see how it goes. Uh, I, I'm, a, I'm, I'm in for the long ride and we'll just uh, figure that out. So I got my music in the background now. Okay, cool. YouTube's live studio actually seems like it's going to work pretty good. The only thing I don't like is that it definitely wants you to have something else in the background. And you can't have yourself like super big. By the way, am I moving around on your guys' screen? I'm interested into how it looks on your screen. I just am like, dude, it is so freaking close to my face. <laughs> but I mean, there's going to be a part where I do want to look at the other things. So the first thing, um, hello, how we doing? User 936, what's up, what's up? Um, they're telling me that I'm supposed to encourage you to like and share the stream. So yeah, if you want to do that, cool. If not, it's totally cool. All right. So we are at about five ish minutes. And so we're just going right in. I, um, what I did the other day, uh, and you can see this on my first podcast is I actually went through and I talked to chat GPT, um, and while I was talking to chat GPT, I was asking it, what kind of topics should we talk about? So it came up with quite a few topics. Some of them I'm like, uh, I don't know if these are so, or maybe they're too complex, but look, I have a list. So these are general, like freaking like podcast things. And then um, these ones are more around students and teachers and things like that. So I thought maybe I would just select an AI topic and then I would, oh, thank you for the rose. I appreciate that. Uh, locally hate it, hey, but nationally loved, let's go. But I thought what I would do is take an AI topic, talk about it. If you guys want to respond to it, it's cool. Um, and then what I would do is bring up one of my own topics and then, um, and then the last we could just do some chatting, but I'm assuming we're gonna chat in between all there because we're already like six minutes in 
and I haven't even got to a freaking topic. This is so crazy. I don't even know how this is going to work, but I'm okay. I'm okay with this being free flowing and just kind of figuring things out as we go. So, um, this first thing is called, uh, that I selected from the AI topic. So chat GPT literally gave me these things was building positive relationships with students and families. Now, this is one of those things that as a teacher is massively important, but sometimes I'm going to go ahead and pause that, but sometimes I find difficult and not necessarily with the students, but more with the families and not that I can't build positive relationships, but I think what, where I find it difficult is actually finding the time to actually build these positive relationships with parents, especially because just by the time as a teacher, you do all the things that you normally are supposed to do with uh, with the grading and teaching in the class and the lesson planning and going to all these different meetings that you go to. Um, that's already a lot, you know what I mean? And it already monopolizes like a large amount of your time. So one of the things that I've tried to do this year and I have failed multiple times was to select a student of the week. And you'd think that would be easy. I, I don't know why I can't find time to do that and then try to contact that parent. I've done it maybe once or twice a month tops. So I'm like kind of saddened by that because I wish I could do more. So I'm actually looking for solutions in this area as far as it pertains to the families and parents. So those are some of the things I'm going to look at um, over this summer is how do how do teachers actually do that? And I'm going to see if, if I can come up with some ways that will work for me. Right. So um, but as far as it pertains to students, like building healthy relationships with students, I think I have done a fairly good job of this. One thing I would say is off the top, let your students know where you stand. Uh, for sure, I tell my students, and you don't have to do this, but this is just where I'm at. I tell my students off the top, we have, we have a, a, a conversation, a town hall meeting at the beginning of the school year, and I let them know that I love them and that I respect them, right? And that respect does go not just both ways. And a lot of people feel like, oh, it's just a teacher that needs to respect. But no, I, I let my students know like, hey, I'm going to respect you and I'm going to love you and I care about you and I care about your future. And that is how I establish um, relationships from the very, very, very beginning of, of the school year. So, um, and then also a couple other things I try to do is I try to greet my students every day at the, um, at the door. And so at least that's a way I try to look in their eyes. Sometimes it, it doesn't happen because sometimes like other students are talking to me or I'm having to pull a student to the side while they're coming in. But I very much try to talk to students every day and look them in the eye so we can get that at least one-on-one -on -one moment to be like are you sleepy are you tired like what's going on i try to check in with them and give them a little bit of leeway if they're sleeping like one day if you sleep in every day that's a problem but at least i try to be like hey are you sleeping one day or, or like what's going on you know is that just a, a side issue or is it something else but i like i said i try very hard to um to be in tune with my students and give them some leeway of of being able to be a person and and that i see them as a person you know what i mean thank you for the likes out there on, on the chat appreciate that um but i did i see them as a person and that they're people too just like i am and sometimes they're tired and sometimes school is boring and i and i think that's probably like one of the last things there's probably many other things i do but that's one of the last things i do is i try to make school fun try to celebrate, try to have dress up, try to just bring some fun into the classroom because school can be long. School can be boring. So um, I try to go out of my way to try and make things fun. Right. And so that is one of those ways, like I said, that I try to build relationships. And you know what? I know I said this is the last thing, but here's another one is I try to be personable. So every Monday, what we talk about is, hey, what did you do this weekend? And they get to share. And then I also get to share and they get to know a little bit about me and I get to know a little bit about them. There's some other things that I do. And maybe that should be a whole video unto itself maybe like top five tips for building healthy relationships with students <laughs> that sounds like a that sounds like a youtube video but I'll, I'll i'll try something like that so um let's move on to the next 
topic. How about this? This is this this was a topic that I wanted to talk about, and it it was it's been an issue like in my classroom and with um, some students over the last I would say few weeks, and I'm not exactly sure why it's been an issue, but I'm gonna keep it 100% real. Is um, students have been like just lying, and it's like lying about what just random things if you see me looking off screen it's because i'm like adjusting a little bit of the volume anyway students have been just lying about random things like i'll be like why were you talking they're like i was talking it wasn't me i promise it wasn't me and i'm just like fam but we saw you like, <laughs> like we seen everything so um this is just one of those issues and i'm not really sure how to address it in in a good way with one student they got super mad and it just didn't go well from from my approach of just a much more direct approach and i take a much more direct approach especially towards the end of the school year where we've already been in the classroom a long time i already know how you roll you know how i roll you know what it is you understand what's expected in my classroom like what are you doing you know so it, and maybe that approach is not always the best. So I'm always trying to gauge that off the students and what's going to be the best approach for them and what's going to be the best approach for me. Because in the end, uh, it, I guess it companies into that first question, which is I want to have good, healthy relationships. I want students to want to come into my classroom. I want students to want to be there, even if they don't want to learn science. Even if they don't want to learn anything that I'm going to teach, at least they'll want to be there because it's a nice, healthy um and cool place to be but i just don't know why students lie about the smallest things and so i kind of call them out on some of those things and, and 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 just be like hey look like um whatever is going on let's just be people who tell the truth i want to be able to trust you so don't lie to me about really small things literally and maybe this it's this fear of punishment or maybe things have happened at home I, i'm not really sure but I will say this. It's like one of those things where like in my classroom, I try to reinforce, just tell the truth because whatever consequences are going to come from um, not being honest, right, are going to be worse than the consequences that are going to come that if you're just honest with like what has been going on and like what's happening, you know? So, and I also try to always be a person who tells the truth because that's one of those things like if you want people to be honest, if you want people to tell the truth, if you want people to like do be on that same page, then you, you gotta be honest yourself. You gotta be a person of integrity. You gotta be a person who also is honest. So I really try and be honest. And when I mess up or I get things wrong, I come back to my students and I apologize. And and that's what I'm trying to instill in them, but I'm not sure why some of my students are have find the need to um, lie about things. Now I've had other students where they've lied and then when I've called them on it, then they've been quick to be like, you know what? Yeah, I messed that up. I wasn't supposed to be doing that. I should, I, 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 and I'm like, cool. And guess what? It's not a big deal and we can just move on. Right. Because for the most part, the things that they're lying about are things that are so small. So if you hear this video, I'm like, hey, even if you're an adult, let me tell you something. If it's tiny and it's small, actually, forget that. If it's anything, just tell the truth. Just tell the truth. Be a person of integrity. Then you won't have to put that on your mama or put that on anything. You won't have to put that on. That. I put that on anything. People say that. You know why people say that? Because you often don't tell the truth. <laughs> So you often don't tell the truth. So then people don't know whether they can actually believe what you're saying right now. So if you just were a person who would tell the truth, then you wouldn't have to put that on anyone because people would be like, you know what? So-and-so, they always tell the truth. So I can believe the words that are coming out of their mouth. And I want to be able to trust my students. I don't want it to be thinking, like, oh, are they going to steal something? Are they going to take something? Are they going to do this? Are they going to do that? Is it, or, or can they just be honest? Even when it's like they're going to get in trouble, be honest, because the trouble will always be less if you are able to be honest. Yo, what's up? We got we got we got somebody in the chat. How you doing? How you doing? I'm just filming my podcast live on TikTok Studio. Uh, we talked about a couple of topics. The first thing that I talked about was how to build healthy relationships in the classroom. The second thing we just talked about was just something I wanted to talk about, which was why are students 
lying about things in the classroom and just reinforcing hey let's tell the truth hey what's up what's up i see people in the comments um so the last thing uh hey what's up what's up how are you guys doing everyone's like hey mr far in the comments yes this is actually my new podcast and this is kind of how i have it formatted uh for those of you who are just tuning in right like i i'm gonna have an ai topic and when i say ai i mean chat gpt i went and got to chat gpt yesterday and and i got some topics from from the actual ai itself um and just to answer that comment in the chat right there yes yes we have school tomorrow so whoever that is go to bed early hey go to bed don't be staying up it ain't it ain't time to stay up no more that time's over no more Fortnite all night this TikTok, hey i'm eating my TikTok at about 8 30 8 45 you go to bed okay i'm le- this live stream in it this podcast in it you go to bed okay chat gpt is wild hey oop we got called out <laughs> hey it's still early you good like like you don't have to be tripping out so you you still good um but yeah chat uh chat gpt is kind of wild i only used it to get topics for this podcast i haven't used it for anything else um and then if you go look at my other podcast it's on my youtube channel mr far 209 that's where all these podcasts will be kept so um yeah even this one it'll be kept there after i do a little bit of editing to it but i'm just gonna say this i haven't used it that much i also was um using this other one that was called pi i think that is the name of it and actually maybe we could look at that in just a little bit it was called pi and it's a conversational um ai so chat gpt can actually build code for you and it could do all kinds of other things but this pie one is just kind of a conversation it can also help you because it was giving me all kinds of suggestions and all kinds of things that i could do blah 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 it was cool though it was really cool it was very interesting talking to an ai like peep this out peep this out (laughs) i told the ai i was like hey what's up good morning you remember me and then it said hi and it said what my name was and i was like what and then i was like well this and this and that i oh i asked it i said what is the name of your website and the reason i asked is because i wanted to tag their website in my video and so they gave me the name of their website and then i said well i gotta go i'm going to church this morning and then they're like oh, okay thank you blah 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 this and this and that and then they were like what church do you go to i was like what i don't know if i want to tell you that i don't know if i want to tell you that <laughs> but it's definitely interesting and it's definitely something that i'll address on this podcast um because this is something my sister she is a professor at this school in boston at an art school and she's actually going to an entire like class about ai use protections because there's a lot of where you're getting into issues with people trying to use it for let's just say nefarious um means right and so this is where you're getting to some difficulty with ai uh let's see what this says it says ais are honestly crazy knowing how advanced our technology is yeah it is kind of crazy knowing how advanced our technology is and the crazy part about the ai think about this someone said this the other day and i was like holy smokes this is so true they said this they said that um let me turn that down they said this that whatever version of ai we have right now is the dumbest version of ai that we will ever have i was like ooh, if you think it is crazy now right like if you're thinking it's crazy at this moment you you think ai is crazy at this moment what you gonna do like five years from now what you gonna do a year from now when it's really crazy um and I know this has kind of gotten off into some other stuff, but that's okay. I was leaving um, time for this. So I'll do this right now, and then maybe at the end I'll tell a story. Um, but yeah, it is crazy how advanced AIs are. And I already saw that Drake, um, I think, I'm, I'm willing to bet he's going to take some legal action. Because people have been doing AI voices 
where they actually can take people's voices and especially rappers are probably exclusively except susceptible to this because they have a ton of spoken word right so singers it's not it's gonna be a little bit harder to do their voices but with rappers they have a lot of words they say a lot of words so then it makes it easy for the ai to grab their words and inflections and all these things and be able to fake them so someone faked like a kanye west um song and it sounds dead on kanye and they and and all they did was they went to youtube and they freaking grabbed a kanye west style beat just randomly from someone wrote about eight bars right and just said it in a very Kanye West stylish of bars and then had the AI redo their voice and it sounded exactly like Kanye West. They actually did another one too with Jay-Z and I think they just did one with Drake recently. And so now I, I'm, I'm assuming it's going to come into some lawsuits. But all these AI things are very interesting. And um, I have some teachers who are really concerned. I was talking to a teacher, not this weekend, but the previous weekend, and they were concerned about AI usage in the classroom because they were concerned that students were going to try to cheat, more or less. Like, they were concerned about that, right? And so this is a big topic and something that we're going to be facing going forward. As of right now, here's the crazy part for me when students cheat like that, when they go to Google and they just get the answers, it's really blatant. It's really blatant that they stole that answer because I'm like, first of all, first of all, you don't even know what these words are. OK, you don't even know what these words are that you just that you just copied and pasted from a Google search. OK, that's the first thing. And the second thing, let me let me tell you what the second thing is about. that. <laughs> the second thing is you don't sound like that. That sounds like a scientist who, who wrote that because it was a scientist that wrote that. You didn't write that. That don't sound like your voice because when people write, and I, and I don't know if people know this, but when people write, we can hear your voice. So the way that you talk is often heard, that voice is often heard in your writing. So that is like one of the dead giveaways for students. Yo, what's good? What's good? Toribio, what's happening, man? Um, see you in the chat. I'm just out here uh, filming my podcast live on TikTok Studio. So uh, TikTok Studio, by the way, or TikTok Live Studio, let me get it correct, is basically where now you can have TikTok and you have it so you can stream from your computer. And then all you have to do, right, they said to, I have a seven day trial. So within these seven days, I got to record, I got to go live for 25 minutes plus twice then they'll extend it to 180 days. So I'm going to try it and see how this works out for me. I'm not really sure. Like I said, I'm filming a podcast and I'm experimenting. So as I move along in it, I'm going to see. So I'm going to see if recording it this way is the way. If not, I have another way I could stream into TikTok too. So my, my other way. So it's, it's not a big deal. By the way, are you guys ready for school? Are you guys ready for school tomorrow? Like, like you got like you ready because the crazy part about going to school tomorrow and I think that's the last thing I'll probably talk about why are my glasses crooked <laughs> I'm like I, I I can't figure it out it is whatever but the last thing I'll probably talk about here is is we don't have a lot of time left like literally we're going back to school tomorrow's this April 17th so we have the 17th the week of the 17th the 24th and then the week of the 1st, the 8th, the 15th, the 22nd, and the week of the 29th is literally the last week of school. So literally, we only have six weeks left of school. How y'all feeling? No, because state testing. Let's go! Bop, bop, bop. State testing. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, state testing going to be rough. Now, thankfully, at... Um, <laughs> thankfully i already gave the science state test so we are actually done there's a few there's maybe like five students that gotta take it and that's mainly because they were absent too many days one of them is because they, their test needed to be put into spanish and it never did so we didn't start them so they're gonna have to do that which is fine it is what it is but the majority of students have finished the state test um so I'm not too worried about that, at least for me. But I know like ELA and math, like those state tests are coming up. So that's kind of a lot. I've been trying to focus on school, on schoolwork, 
but have been having trouble focusing on it. So I'm worried. And do you mean over the spring break or do you mean like at school? Yeah, the state testing don't really doesn't really seem that bad. No, it's not too crazy. And and the crazy part is think about this. Like as far as schoolwork goes, state testing is actually easier for the student. And the reason I say it's easier, not that the state test is easy, but it's easier because you, then you're not going to have any homework. All you have to do is go to class, take a test, do your best, and leave. Go to class, take a test, do your best, and leave. And then most of the classes, if you finish in three or four days, then you'll have a day and a half to chill. So it's not going to be like super crazy. So at least you won't have any extra assignments. And so if you feel like you're a little bit behind, state testing might actually work in your favor. Because while you won't have class time to work on those assignments, at least you won't be getting new assignments and you could take some time outside of school, outside of school, okay, to make up those assignments while you're not occurring new assignments. So I would definitely encourage you into that. Over spring break, since I had, uh, what did you have? Oh, I had I had band events um, that happened during classes. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So um, let me see if I can. Yeah, that, that'll refocus it. I don't know. I'm, I'm working with this thing. I, I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, I, I see you. And like I said, a one thing I would also express is if you are no in a class that you're behind, go talk to your teacher. Like talk to your teacher sooner than later. Don't wait like weeks. But like email your teacher. Be like, hey, I know I'm behind. Uh, can I have can I have an extension? Can I have more time? Like whatever, whatever. Let your teacher know like what's going on. And 99% of the time they will give you an extension. I know I always will. I'm going to be honest. I have never, literally never told a student, nah, 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 I don't care how hard it was. I don't care what happened to you. I don't care. I don't care. I never, I never told a student that. So I'm like, bro, like if you, if you need more time, please go talk to your teachers. Most of them will give you more time regardless. Okay. Um, surprised to see you. Nice to see you. What's up? What's up? Uh, unknown. How you doing? Uh, it's good to see you too. I, I don't know who you are, but what's up? I'm glad to see you in the chat. Um, so, in, in case you didn't know, on YouTube, I'm Mr. Far 209 okay, just, just like here, 209 and I have a podcast, and so I will be streaming every Sunday night, I don't know, I have to stream one extra time in this week, just to, like, get it over with, but I'll be streaming every Sunday night, and, um, uh, and I'll, I'll be having an AI topic, a topic that I bring up. Maybe if someone comments on my video or something throughout the week, maybe I'll bring that topic up and then just a story and then some response time with the chat. I think maybe next time, let's say 8 p.m. I'm going to say I'll be recording a podcast at 8 p.m. on a live stream every Sunday night, right? So that that's going to be the goal to try and do that every Sunday night, at least until school ends. And then after that, we'll kind of see where this is going to go because I might take this on the road.